Hi, Lily. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Hi, thank you so much for joining our interview today. If there were three words you would use to describe yourself, what would they be and why? If there were three words that I could use to describe myself, they would be ambitious, thoughtful, and elegant. First, I think that I am a very ambitious person because that's how all my friends describe me as. And <laughs> I think ever since I was a young age, because I grew up in a low-income immigrant family and I was also a first-generation college student, I knew that I had to really focus on my education and my career in order to help out my family. So I always studied really hard in school and I earned really good grades so that I could get into UC Berkeley with a full scholarship. And then when I was at UC Berkeley, I always went to other career fairs as well as information sessions from different companies that were hiring at UC Berkeley so that I could be very prepared and I was able to get a job offer um, before I graduated college. And that really helped me launch my career successfully. And since then, I've always been very hardworking and career oriented. So that's why I think I'm very ambitious. And then secondly, I think I am a very thoughtful person because I'm always the one who really remembers my family and friends' birthdays. I would <laughs> kind of hold and <laughs> remember what they like, and then I would get it for them. And then if I had time, I really like to bake. So I try to make them a cake, and then if I don't, I will buy them a cake. And um, at work, I think I also try to be very thoughtful about other people's time. So if I know that some of my coworkers have kids and they have to um, take care of their kids at a certain time, I try not to schedule meetings during that time. And lastly, I think I'm an elegant person because I'm very into fashion, and I really like the other things in life, such as fine dining and also um, enjoying myself through different experiences, like the massages or facials. So that's why I think those three words best describe it. Nice, nice. Yeah, I can tell why you're sure like with the circles and like the nice <laughs> things, you know, we are very fashion oriented. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so Billy, uh, can you describe us, you know, what are your what are your biggest accomplishments? Yeah, I would say my biggest accomplishments were starting to companies when I was twenty four years old. At that time it was a very difficult decision for me because I had a well-paying job at eBay's for the strategy team, but then I decided that wasn't something I was very passionate about and I had more business ideas that I really wanted to take a chance and to build on my own. So I found a job and then I built these two businesses. One of them was an e-commerce startup. And the reason why I wanted to do that was because I had a lot of experience working at eBay and I believe that I was also very passionate about giving gifts. So I created an e-commerce platform where I created a lot of high quality gifts and then I made it easier for people to find these selections. And then the gifts will also come pre-packaged so that the giver can just get them out immediately upon arrival. The other idea was an events company because I really loved hosting and planning events. So I created an events company um, and I hosted a bunch of events in the Bay Area, such as comedy shows and speed dating events. And it was a ton of fun. I really loved um, bringing people in the community together and getting to know more people. And an interesting story was that I actually met someone called the last in line and he's now running for the Board of Supervisors in San Francisco. And he was a comedian who starred in the Crazy Hilarious Asians comedy show. So it's a really fun way to get to meet more people in the Bay Area. Yeah, that sounds very fun and exciting <laughs> and like also yeah. just like, yeah expand your network and also just like to get to know people that's awesome so lily what are your dreams or goals for the future and one of my dreams is actually to start a nonprofit to provide better education for immigrants because as an immigrant myself i know that there are a lot of unique obstacles for people who come from immigrant backgrounds so I want to create a nonprofit with two distinct programs. One would be to help the adults and the immigrant families develop better English and job skills so that they can have better jobs. And then the second program is centered around the children who are growing up in these immigrant families. Because as a kid growing up, I really wish that I had access to these extracurricular music and arts lessons as well as sports lessons that people from the uh, higher income families might have, but then as an immigrant, you might not have availability to these types of resources. So since I have a good network and I know a lot of people who are owners of dance schools and art schools, I want to be able to create this nonprofit and connect these together so that children can get access to these arts as well. And eventually, I do hope to become a policy maker so that I can leverage my experiences in consulting as well as strategy and program management to create better policies that could benefit the community. It seems like, you know, your hard work in terms of 
like the basis of your education, Macy Berkeley, and then and using that with your ambition and drive towards like your two companies that you made, and then also with mm -hmm. that, uh, your future goal of you know fighting back for the community and also you know being a policymaker. Those are all very ambitious goals, and you know, and we're proud of you. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So Lily, um, how do you stay connected to your Asian heritage, like your culture side? I actually really love Asian culture as well as Chinese culture. So even though I immigrated to San Francisco when I was only five years old, I still consistently went to Chinese school every single weekend. Not because my parents forced me to, but because I actually really love learning Chinese, um, which is really important. Because I believe that China has 5,000 years of history and it's super exciting and interesting to get to know it. But I know that other Asian cultures have a lot of interesting history and culture as well. So I love traveling to each of these countries like Korea, Japan, Taiwan, and visiting them. And I really love their food. And I've had the opportunity to model in different cultural events. So um, I've been able to wear their traditional outfits. So it was really a ton of fun. And I really love to learn about these different types of Asian cultures. Thank you so much for having me today. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Susie. It was a pleasure.